Hi, this is Donald Drake, and welcome to Rube Goldberg Tutorial Series, where we are going to learn how to build this weighted lever. And I'd call it a catapult, but it can do so many more things. It can be a bridge activator. It can be a. It can move 180 degrees. It can move up to 90 degrees, any degrees you want it. And they're very, very useful, very easy to make. And let's get started. So, you will need at least this. Uh, the connect piece right here can be a yellow piece, or it could be one of those gray pieces, but the idea is to have uh, the uh, hinge right here, or, and uh, a flat area to glue your stick. And you could make this whole thing all out of connects, but I personally like the uh, freedom you get with cutting your own lengths of wood and the flat surface on a wooden square dowel thingy is more useful than the uh, ribbed circular connects part but you could follow these instructions with just connects if you just uh, apply what I'm talking about and building it without a connects. You need a base plate, I use a CD case and then you need of course something to hold that connects piece like a eight shape or a, T, or a horse kind of so I'm using these really cheap Legos and you need a hot glue gun for almost everything I do a hot glue gun makes everything in the world a Lego so right now we're making the the truss you could say to hold the middle part this is part one of it and glue it to the base and then we take this part you don't need this on now and glue it to the top of the truss and I like to hold it till it sets nicely because you don't want it to sag down too much while well, you get the next part of the truss ready so you should have that right now this this can be any piece that's fitting I made it with wooden tracks or it could be cassette tapes or if you make a big one it could be VHS tapes but the idea is to get a truss going so you're gonna want your axle part or hingy part on there create the other truss half of the truss and then secure it all in place by finishing finishing it and you should have that and that is the basis for the weighted lever now you're going to want to glue on your uh, your rod piece and when you glue it on you got to make sure that when it swings it can go all the way without touching the base plate see I could even glue it further down so I'm going to re-glue it but you want to get it uh, as far down as possible without it touching the base plate. There you go. That's what you want. You need it to swing freely so you can get an entire 180 degrees or a little more depending on where you position it. So you should have that. Right now, this is useful. You could use this in a machine. So now you need the weights on the other end. To start, I like to use two AA batteries that are dead, of course. They make great weights and rolly thingies. You want to glue them to the underside of the shorter end. And I usually like to glue two batteries on this by gluing them both to a domino and then gluing that domino to 
the uh, weighted lever or creating the weights. So there's my weight. Now you're gonna wanna glue it to this part. And remember, you still wanna make sure it moves freely, which it does right there, so we're good. And then, you're somewhat done. However, this moves really violently. And what if you want to control the fine tune how fast it goes up? Well, that's where a paper, uh, a clothespin comes in. This clothespin is the calibrator, and you can make it go much more slowly. This moves much more slowly than if it was down here. And you can keep adding pay, uh, clothes pins to adjust the weight. But usually with these, I add some sort of cap on the end for some sort of ball lift. So that's easily modifiable. And this again will change the weight distribution much more slowly. And I'm guessing with a big paper clip, it might not even go up at all. Oh, it still does. And then you can start checking marble weights using the paper, uh, using the uh, clothespin and a ball. So that won't even move up with this wooden ball in it. Adjusting the clothespin will get us the perfect gentleness needed to raise the ball. And that is how you build a weighted lever. And you can also glue bridges to these. You can glue magnets to the top. So when it lifts up to the desired height, it locks itself into place. You just glue a magnet right here and a penny next to where you want it to land. Click. And you can also activate it by holding a weight down on this side and moving it off. Or having a weight on the cup and a ball goes into the cup to remove the weight. To lift up itself you could have something underneath here and it pushes it away and then moves it up you can have this kick something there are very very many uses for this object and I recommend everyone build it and once you do I'd like to see what you do with one of them thank you for watching and stay tuned for next week's tutorial I have many names subscribe comment like for more, 